Here's a quick little video to show that it is possible to re-enter with parachutes that have already been popped. Uh, this is just a little example craft here. We got the three-man uh, capsule here. It only has two parachutes. It's got a docking port on top. Uh, we got a bay here, service bay. It's got a bunch of science stuff inside and uh, two little monopropellant tanks. We do have two thrusters and I'm just going to use them to help circularize a little bit uh, once we get out. We're not really going to hit orbit, although uh, this probably could. Uh, we just have uh, one of the uh, twin bore boosters with a little extra fuel and some fins. So let's uh, take this out to the launch pad. And I'm just going to time warp here until it's night so that uh, we'll land during the day. And this isn't going to be an efficient launch or anything. I'm going to put the the throttle up about three quarters. Let's turn on SAS and uh, let's take off. Notice the parachute is white. It has not yet been activated. So we're going up. Let's turn a bit. And uh, We'll do a semi-standard launch here. Now approaching 10,000. Should be uh, about 45, and uh, we're getting some re-entry. We're we're going pretty quick, and uh, it'll just get quicker as we go here. And um, I don't think we're gonna stop. We're just gonna see how far we can get. Should be getting up high enough that those re-entry effects or heating effects should stop soon, and uh, I'm just going to throttle all the way up. You can see, we're getting pretty fast here, and uh, we've gone out to about almost a million. So let's uh, eject there, and you can see our parachutes are still white. That means they have yet to be activated. We're in space. Let's turn on the lights. Got a little bit of light here, um, and if I accidentally you can see the staging light is lit, if I accidentally hit space again, well, it sounded like parachutes opening, but we're in space. You see the parachutes are now blue, and the stage light is now off, which means we can't stage anymore. So we've accidentally fired our parachutes. Um, now that's going to be a problem, because they're going to open at the earliest possible time. And if you right-click on them, you see they have a minimum pressure. It starts off at uh, 0 0.4, and that's pretty high up. That's above 15 kilometers, which is not safe. Um, I've looked up on the KSP wiki that 5 kilometers is about point, 0 0.451. So I'm going to put this at 0 0.5, which will be a little below 5 kilometers. But should be safe. And we'll do the same for the other one. We, you have to do that for every parachute. The altitude is how high ab um, uh, how high above the 
ground that they'll go from their collapsed state to the fully expanded state where the min pressure controls actually being released from uh, its container. Um, so if we come in like this, we're not going to make it. That's way too steep. So I'm going to add a maneuver here. And uh, I'm going to come in a bit steeper than normal, I would say, but not too bad. Put that at 25. Um, we're going to need a bunch of meters per second. Let's uh, just say... Can we say... Warp to here. Come on. Blue, get me. Warp here. So we're uh, warping out here. We're now in the sun. I just have to turn towards it. I'm going to turn on the RCS and uh, thrust forward. And this is going to take a while. So I'm going to time warp here. Probably should have used an engine. I forgot how massive this was. Okay, uh, we are almost on a mono propellant, and uh, we're not at the orbit. Let's just see how this goes. So we're going to be coming down quite a bit steeper. Just swing around, hold retrograde. And head into the atmosphere. going pretty fast, much faster than you would typically enter, and uh, much steeper. Overheat, uh, I think we're coming in too steep. But uh, we may be surviving. You can see, we're slowing down. If we can get under 250 by 5,000 or 
some odd. I think we'll make it. And look, the parachute's automatically deployed. It's actually closer to 4,000. And uh, we should be good. They will open a thousand meters above the ground. And there we go. We're coming down at uh, 10 meters, which will be a little on the rough side. But uh, I think our bleeder will survive our uh, heat shield and even if it doesn't um, it did protect us <laughs> even though we were coming in at a crazy steep angle and let's just uh, fast forward this down a bit keep charging up again alright let's see how we do here we're actually down under... A little exploded. <laughs> but again, that was just the heat shield. Um, I think... Well, some stuff came loose in here. But... I, th I think that was pretty good. So... Parachutes are now red, means they need to be repacked. And, uh. But definitely putting the min pressure up to 0.5 will allow you to land s safely, <laughs> assuming you have enough parachutes. But if you've accidentally activated them, uh. 0.5 pressure will. looks like about, uh. 4 kilometers have them open, which. If you're not slowed up by four kilometers, uh, you got bigger problems. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.